Hey, what's up people? Welcome to the very first edition of uh, Lock Drop. Okay, so the first lesson, I'm gonna learn how to make Xian Tang, basically the base stock. Um, and the base stock that is pretty much used in all of Chinese cooking, or all, you know, in Chinese cooking in general. The concept about the stock is it's a base, it's like a canvas. It's, it's a canvas that you that after you paint on. So it's, it's not like something like Japanese ramen or uh, like pho, where you've got the, the stock being the actual center of the, of the dish. It's a background flavor and it's a light flavor and then you build the, all the, the creativity from the, from the dishes that you're cooking off of this base stock. So it's not a stock that when you taste it, you're like, oh wow, that's amazing. It, we're looking for freshness and crispness because that's a nice, fresh, crisp, clean canvas uh, that we can start like cooking our, our dishes off of. So I'm gonna take you over today how to make the base stock. In today's base stock, if you only want to use chicken, just use chicken. If you want to use the chicken and pork, then um, you, know, you can use the chicken and pork recipe too. When I usually make this dish, I often will use like the chicken carcass, including, including the neck and the ribs. And also I'll use the part of the pig carcass, you know, some small parts of the ribs. But I've noticed that when I go to Western countries that um, quite often it's very, very hard to get the, the, the pork ribs, I'm not talking about like spare ribs, I'm talking about the, the, the carcass for you know, making stock bases. So today I'm going to use um, pork belly as a substitute because when I've been in New York um, doing cooking schools or private classes, um, when I've been in uh, New Zealand, Australia or Vancouver, um, I really have had troubles um, trying to get my hands on that. So if you can get your hands on it, fine, but today I'm going to use pork, pork belly as a substitute. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our chicken carcass. Um, this is basically the ribs and the neck and the whole the whole rib cage area. Um, I've got here pork belly, and you can see that I've got a, a fatty part. So you, you can get this for cheap, you know, because you actually want the fat. And I've got spring onion, and I've got ginger. And this is a little bit of a different one that's a little bit unique. I mean, they do a lot in Sichuan as well, especially for back, banquet cooking. But this is celery leaves. Um, and I use celery leaves in, my chef taught me to use celery leaves and I really like it. I think it's, it's fantastic, but you just have to be careful that don't put too many celery leaves in there. It just needs to be a little light background just to freshen it up. We'll get on to how to make the soup. So um, me, myself, I use mineral water. Um, you don't have to use mineral water. You can use whatever water you want. This here is a, is a four, four and a half, five liter pot. So just fill the pot up with the water. We're gonna start off here with um, our spring onion and our ginger. Okay, we're gonna rinse it in your hand, crush it, okay, pop it in. Rinse the ginger as well. But the thing is with the ginger, is when you make making stuff, make sure you leave the skin on. So, so wash the skin clean. Okay, give it, a, give it a bash, pop it in as well. Okay, and then from there, just take it and put it on the stove. And we just want to get this up to a boil once. We're going to come here and we'll put some water in our wok. Okay, uh, so now we've got it to a boil. Okay, so we're going to take our, our chicken carcass. Okay, we're going to put it in. We're going to take the pork, we're going to put it in. Now, we want to bring this to the boil, okay, and boil it quite ferociously. Give it a heavy boil, and we're going to wait until. Uh, basically, all the, the scum and the gunk off of the carcass starts to come up. So, because we, we're this is the process that we're doing now is cleansing it, cleaning it. All right. So you want to leave that. It'll probably take about probably take about three, four, five minutes before it starts really bubbling and boiling, and, and you'll see the, the brown gunk coming up off it. So right now you can see it's starting to bubble up, and we're starting to get the brown froth around here, around the edges of it. This is what we want. Okay. So just make sure that you you you, you turn over. Turn over the carcass, okay? You wanna, you wanna get it so it starts looking like this, starts getting to where it's looking like this. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Okay, so we take this, take it off. It's about water, this is cold water. Gonna run it in cold water. 
if you're using a wok, make sure the wok gets nice and cold before you put your hands in there and make sure it's full of cold water. Here, you want to take it and we just want to open up around the necks and we want to take off all the, all the gunky parts. Yeah, all these parts. You want to take them off, clean them out. The pork belly will be fine. Okay, just get in there and, and clean off any gunky bits, especially these. Uh, just trying to find some for you here. Yeah, especially in the heart here. You can see we have the gunk here in the heart. From this is from the chest, like all the lungs and the heart stuff. You want to take all this out. Okay, you want to pick all this out and clean it. Wash it and clean it. And you'll notice after you do it a couple of times, like I've done it here, and cleaned it out. This is basically the water that you've got here is a little bit of ref ref uh, reflection of how the um, stock's gonna end up looking, right? So I'm just cleaning this up here, all right, pouring it out. See how much clearer the water is this time. Yeah, it's a lot clearer than it was the last two times. That's about the level that you wanna be. Okay, so we've brought this water to the, water, to the boil. Um, and once it's, it's got to a nice, where it's just bubbling like that, turn it right down, turn the heat right down as low as it can go so it's just simmering. And uh, then from there, we're gonna take our cleaned carcasses, put them in, along with the pork, like that. And we're gonna leave that for really, really the longer the better. Um, you know, at my restaurant when we make it in the morning, we'll leave it for we'll leave it for a couple of hours. But yeah, you can get away with 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but yeah, really the longer the better. And we've been sitting on about 30 minutes here. So you're just gonna give it, this actually doesn't need much to clean off because it's been, it was cleaned really well before it went there. So, so if you look, if you look there, look at the soup, you see when you pour it through, you've got a lovely clear, lovely clear, clean stock. Now what we're gonna do to freshen this up a little bit more, we've got celery leaves. Yeah. So some, you know, some places don't use them, some people, places do. I like to use them. So basically what we're gonna do is just rinse them, okay, crush them in your hands. And just, so four liters, I've got like, you know, one little bit of, one little tiny tip of the celery leaves there. And we're just gonna leave that. And uh, actually we'll let it sit in there. Like we're, I'm gonna let the stock sit for about an hour or something. Um, and then afterwards I'll, I'll take them out. And quite often I'll take the spring onion and I'll take the ginger out too. Especially if I'm not using the stock all in one day, because otherwise the, you just find that the spring onion and the ginger and the celery will become like sort of overpowering. So, you know, if, if, you, if you're cooking for one party or, or one night, yeah, fine, leave it in. But if you're gonna leave the stock overnight and put it in your fridge, then I'd suggest that you take the spring onion and you take the um, celery and you take the ginger out. Uh, um, also remember that, that uh, the stock is, is not for drinking straight, okay? So this is our base that we're gonna start to use for making things like marble tofu or, or stuff like that. Also remember that um, you can you can bottle it um, or you can freeze it. If you bottle it and put, put it in your fridge, um, it'll last for three or four days. Um, or you can freeze it and then bring it home and, and use it for, for, um, for cooking dishes after. If you can't find the, um, the chicken uh, carcass and, and neck, um, uh, just use a chicken thigh um, and make sure chicken thigh is on the bone. So not bones, but a chicken thigh on the bone. You can use that well, with pork belly to get the same effect. Yeah, so thanks a lot for coming along today uh, and learning how to make the xiantang, uh, the base broth. Uh, be sure to check up here. Make sure you go check um, Mark's video because that's the medicinal breakdown of like why the ingredients uh, that we use are used um, in that soup stock. Uh, also, the next video that's coming up is going to be how to make marble dolphin, which a lot of people want to know how to make. And then we're going to break it down and get a little bit um, into some a little bit easier stuff after that. Uh, also, uh, in the near future, next week or so, we've got like a video that's going to come up on just one of the private home parties um, that, um, that we put on. So please come along, make sure you subscribe, um, like it, hit that bell, and uh, come join the ride.